The way that this game works is you build up a university with the goal of getting students to graduate with different professions, based on how much they learned. The better professions provide permanent bonuses that last throughout an entire campaign. This is important because every 45 minutes or so your university gets destroyed and you have to rebuild on a different map. Initially rebuilding is hard, but it gets easier as you get more higher tier graduates. After going through six universities you end up on a final map that has some reasonably hard objectives to complete before your university gets destroyed again, and you need to have a lot of high-tier graduates to be able to do those. All in all it's a unique, fun game. It doesn't require a huge amount of interaction or micromanagement you basically just place classrooms and approve new students. I can see how that's not going to be everyone's favorite game. But I like games that I can play while I do something else on my other monitor, and this is perfect for that. I do enjoy this game however I have mixed emotions with it being out of early access. What it currently has, has mass amounts of potential. I like the different schools of magic, each map has its own objectives. However, one thing I have a gripe about how each map, after 45 minutes 1 hour, your school faces the inevitable. There are things you can do to delay this destruction, but all in all, all that you do in the end will either eventually end to the destruction of your school, or at the final map, if you're lucky enough to get all the cards, you can avoid it. There's no middle ground, there's no objective that I've seen that offers a chance to fight back or prevent the invasion outside of the end map. What I like about this game, to a point, there is some management with how you spend your resources, and I like the variety of schools, you can custom design each school attire, the name, flag, and what lessons your students can learn based on the school of magic you put them in. I think the biggest improvement can go towards the objectives slash endgame themselves. Every map you do, you're basically maximizing all that you can do and what your students can learn in the time you're allotted before you have to go to the next map, which kinda leaves you feeling, well what's the point of trying to produce all-powerful students if they can't fight back? Apparently in this game, there are many fights, students versus orcs. However from what I understand they have no bearing on the map's time limit. One additional small issue I've noticed, if you have janitors, and your students have produced art on the walls, there's a shocking percentage of how little your janitor actually notices the graffiti on the walls before going into the next room. I've had graffiti on the wall that sat there for a good solid while as multiple janitors go in and out of the room before it's actually taken care of by someone slash something. It's a cute little management game however I feel like it should still be in early access. It needs a little improvement, possibly an endless skirmish if you don't want the time limit, but maybe still have those mini fights to keep your students on your toes, and more objectives that make you feel like you have some control over your school's fate. This is a borderline recommendation. Because it's a fairly cheap game, and you'll get hours out of it. But it has some issues. 1. Meta progression feels weak slash RNG heavy. It's even possible to negatively progress, due to being given trash rewards and only crippling curses after each stage, despite scoring the best possible score. There are some absurdly good rewards, but if you don't get them as an option tough luck. 2. Meta progression is self-contained in a campaign. You keep the progression for the 7 or so stages you get to play, then it resets back to zero for your next campaign. The only exception is a handful of artifacts you can unlock by doing challenge runs. 3. Not a lot of events. After one or two maps you will basically have seen almost everything except the the map unique events. 4. No option to end a mission when you've achieved everything you can. You just have to wait for ages. 5. You can't set priorities for certain disciplines under a school. Which means if your objective is to graduate students only knowing, say, enchantment and herbalism, you either only build those facilities, e.g. No druidism slash beast tamer if you want herbalism, or just pray your students go to those as much as possible. It would be nice if students prioritize the disciplines needed for your objectives. 6. UI is kinda bad. Would be nice if you could display all the slots in your school, e.g. Animal slots, even if they are occupied, so you can quickly find the spots you've actually filled as well if you want to replace them. 7. Game will randomly lock out certain areas for building. For example if you build a donut you won't be able to fill in the middle for some reason. And yes I'm aware you got to have exits to the area you want to build, obviously. 
8. It would be nice if anything besides scoring the stars mattered for meta progression. Like the bonuses your students give you when they graduate. 9. You're unable to fire or hire new teachers after a facility is built, which is kinda dumb.